The forecast for today includes Fast Forward, where we take one word four places in three minutes. Today's word is umbrella. It's about to rain some facts. 1. The Miracle of Flight In 1903, the Wright brothers successfully flew for the first time, which triggered a race for the sky between several competing companies. The trick was that the Wright brothers had patented some of their inventions used on their version of the airplane, which forced the other companies to get creative. Enter the umbrella plane. The circular design had the pilot exposed in the center, surrounded by an open concept wing. It was interesting, to say the least. But the Wright brothers' biplane design proved to be better, so the umbrella shape never really took off. What? Really? Wow. Apparently it did take off, and not only did it make several successful flights around an airfield, but it even performed at several air shows. At one show, an announcer was supposed to introduce the umbrella plane by saying it had inherent stability, but he accidentally said it had inherited stupidity. <laughs> Whoops. 2. Japanese mythology Imagine it's the middle of the night, you're up watching Netflix, when suddenly your closet door creaks open and this abomination comes hopping towards you. With its one leg and long tongue, the Kasa Obake has come to play. Its name in English is the Umbrella Ghost, and in traditional mythology it is a species of Tsukomogami, an inanimate object that is granted life. Legend says that if a household tool reaches 100 years of service, the heavens will bestow upon it a soul. And if the tool was treated badly during its century of service, you better believe that it's coming after you. But don't worry, of the Tsukomogami species including kettles, lanterns, and sandals, the Umbrella Ghost is reportedly one of the friendliest types, and even enjoys playing with children. 3. Caught in the Rain The weather forecast tells us, as a convenient percentage, how likely it is to rain. But of course, we never really have a nice round 50% chance of rain. In reality, the probabilities are usually rounded upwards. For example, if the odds of rain are around 6%, the weatherman might tell us that they're 20%. This modification is called the wet bias. Why is this done? Well, if the prediction is too high, many people will carry around a useless umbrella all day. Not a big deal. But if the estimated rain percentage is too low, people will leave their umbrellas behind and get soaked, and therefore, angry. That's why weathermen typically predict on the safe side, drizzling a few extra percentage points here and there. 4. Murder? As far as murder weapons go, you might not think that an umbrella makes the cut. But at least once it did. On September 7th, 1978, a man named Georgi Markov was at a bus stop on his way to the BBC in London. Markov, originally from communist Bulgaria, was a champion of free speech and was in Britain working as a journalist. He was known for drawing attention to things that the communists didn't want attention drawn to. So, at the bus stop, an assassin waited with an unusual weapon, the umbrella gun. Here's how it may have worked. Somehow, the assassin shot or injected a pellet into Markov's leg. The pellet contained ricin, a deadly poison, and was covered with a thin wax that melted at the human body temperature. Unfortunately, this convoluted scheme wasn't pieced together fast enough to save Markov's life. It remains one of the strangest assassinations in recent history. This has been Umbrella. Leave a challenge word in the comments below, and like and subscribe for more videos. Over and out.